The universe is unified as the creation of the one true God. He alone is God, in a way comparable to other so-called gods, and he says a completely separate existence from the cosmos. God cannot be manipulated through the cosmos because he is not the cosmos. God created the world as a universe with his own unified purposes. Human beings have meaning by fulfilling God's purposes for them. Human beings are designed not to appease capricious and power hungry God, but to worship and obey a loving creator. Ultimate security and peace come from trusting and worshipping the Creator. From beginning to end, God makes this and many related points in order to correct the seductive but incorrect and steady pagan world rule. God's covenant with the people. The concept of covenant is central to the message of God. From Genesis onward, the covenant becomes the most persistent metaphor for the relationship with his people. The God's covenant relationships at Gen Sharbi Futil. He a covenant is a relationship that gives promises and imposes obligations. Both covenants were similar to treaties between two nations, where a first king would enter into a relationship with a metal nation, see the promony introduction, literary form, he, 314. The term covenant describes the relationships God established with humanity and all creation through Noah. Gen 9, 117. With Abraham and his descendants. Gen 15, 1-21. With Israel through Moses. Exodus 19, 3-24. 十一, and with David and his left priest, 237, 8-16. God's relationship with Adam also had the character of a covenant, complete with commands, promises, and warnings. Each of God's covenants speaks on the previous ones. New covenants do not replace the old. Through these covenants, God established special relationships between himself and his people. In the covenants, God makes promises, special obligations, and threatened judgment if these people did not obey him. When they disobey, God sends his prophets to warn his disobedient people, urging them to turn from breaking his law and return to faithful obedience. The curses stipulated in the covenant provide no basis for God's judgment, 
Participate when countering the Old Testament, the Christian survey, Ichochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochochoch
Modern archaeology is the Middle East began when Napoleon took his team into Egypt. In 1708, a of specialists who recalled the ancient wonders of Egypt. They happened to find the Rosetta Stone, in 1799, which provided the unexpected key to the development of Egyptian hieroglyphics. Ifa-i-chiu the Kadian, the gentle jaw of Zebulun, was deciphered using the Buddhist inscription, Hong Yuan Ting Yi Ba which, like the Rosetta Stone, was inscribed in three languages. The deciphering of several other languages soon followed. After that, the archaeology of the ancient Near East prospered and drew worldwide attention. Archaeologists, scholars, and treasure hunters were amazed at the creation and blood stories, legal documents, ancient civilizations and languages religious and theological systems, sacrificial rituals, tabernacles, temples, palaces, wisdom literature, covenants and covenantal bonds and rituals, false stories, birth stories, king myths, pagan prophetic parallels, and much more. In the beginning, it was treasure hunters who made many of the significant finds, and their methods were often haphazard and cash. Description of important archaeological sites. The scientific study of ancient Celts, Spitta of the hand cultural debris compacted together into months over the millennia, began in Palestine in 1890, when later Spitta adopted methods used to excavate trolls, systematically unearthing and studying the various Spitta, Layers of occupation of a city. His approach to archaeology in Palestine flourished as appropriate techniques, tools, and record keeping developed for day. A combination of methods is employed, including purpose surveys and aerial photography used to get information about whole regions. The contribution of biblical I-R-C-H-A-E-O-L-O-G-Y Various ancient Near Eastern texts and artifacts have helped scholars paint both with a broad brush and in some cases with details a cultural and historical backdrop of what areas across the centuries Ancient texts and artifacts help us see the earth in its larger context and better understand its history, its literary qualities, and even its theological perspectives. In principle, archaeologists 
Intel no particular interest in proving the truth of the scriptures. And in fact, it is sometimes difficult to reconcile interpretation of archaeological data and the evidence of scripture. Such conflicts are few in number, however, and tend to diminish noticeably as new inform. Mention is forthcoming. The huge batch of ancient Near Eastern material makes the historical reliability of the old argues with firm. These archaeological source materials show the people of Israel as fellow participants in the ancient Near East of the day. It is possible to see the men and women of scripture as real persons, as two children of their age, struggling with less problems. And from time to time they catch a mission of God as all powerful and all holy, as studying the destinies of individuals and nations and as bringing about his purposes in history. Ancient texts and artifacts show that Israel shall in the social scriptures and world rules of the surrounding cultures. But his texts and artifacts also show striking contrasts. Between the people of Israel and the world in which they live, for Israel claimed a relationship with the Lord, the one true God, and did not worship many gods as neighboring nations did. The people of Israel's faith in and experience of the Lord makes them unique in the ancient world. A uniqueness that comes into migrants, colorful relief through the texts and artifacts of the ancient Near East. Primary sources, drinking tea, Arnold and Frey, they are, readings from the ancient Near East, Arli Mimar, Charles William W. Follow, and the context of scripture are living then. A-R-C-H-A-E-O-L-O-G-Y and Sosan for Old Testament veterans in Ba'el Miriam Lipskan, Ancient Egyptian Literature, 1971-1980, OTP Wicker H. Matthews and Dunsey, Benjamin, at Old Testament, Caradon, Slugs and Stories from the Ancient Near East, Arli Mingyo, Anak James B. Teachers, at Ancient Near Eastern Texts relating to the Old Testament, 1969, at the B. Scott, ancient texts from the study of the Hebrew Bible, Arli Mingu, for the reading Susan White Bauer. The history of the ancient world, Arli Mingqi, Richard S. Yes, Israelite religion, an archaeological and biblical survey, Arli Mingqi, Elder J. Archaeology and the Old Testament, 1998, K. A. Teaching, on the reliability of the Old Testament, 2006, John H. Walton, Ancient Near Eastern Set and the Old Testament, 2006, Michael O. Weiss, et al. The Dead Sea Scrolls, Arli Mingu, Ancient Texts and Artifacts Relating to the Old Testament. 
the Old Testament was written in a complex era of history, and many parallels to the Old Kings have been found in ancient artifacts and documents. This chart lists many of the items with the original date and date description. The sources follow this English translation of the text of these artifacts. The abbreviations are listed under primary sources above. The final column with what passages that parallel with sources in some manner. In some cases, the ancient source is similar to its last parallel or provides cultural background. In other cases, the ancient source corroborates specific what details.
Oh, my God. 